You know who this guy is. ESPN called him the top pro style quarterback in his class in high school. He was committed to Penn State before the team was hit by sanctions and he stuck with Penn State in the face of those sanctions. He started as a freshman. He won seven games each season for a program that was rebuilding. Christian Hackenberg's NFL career has not panned out, but the Penn Stater returning to pro football, his first pro regular season start in the Alliance of American Football today, a new spring league. Memphis Express is his team taking on the Birmingham Iron, and it wasn't good for the Memphis offense or Christian Hackenberg. He finished 10 of 23 through the air, only 87 yards and an interception. The team actually subbed in the backup late in the fourth quarter. Birmingham, on the other hand, and ran the rock. Trent Richardson, yeah, former Alabama running back. Trent Richardson had himself a game. Future Alliance Hall of Famer, baby. He scored two fourth quarter touchdowns. He had a two point conversion as well. Memphis also going 0 for 2 in the red zone. Rut row. Memphis and Hackenberg shut out in the season opener. 26 to nothing. It did not go as planned for the former Nittany Lion, but still, this team. And this league has given guys like Hackenberg a chance to start over. It's groundbreaking, obviously, um, but, uh, you know, I think for a lot of guys, it's really special, you know, just being able, a lot, a lot of different guys from a lot of different backgrounds and a lot of different stories. Um, and, you know, some guys thought it was over. Some guys are scratching and clawing to get back. And I think this league gives every guy an opportunity to do that. So I think that's that's the cool part about it. Like, I think there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's kind of a piece across across everyone it's like you know we're playing again and this is what it's all about it's, it's super pure you know what I mean I mean coming coming from the NFL there's so many other things that are going on on a week-to-week day-to-day basis um, that aren't really about football and I think the coolest part about this is it's about football 